Hi y'all, Trina with Redneck Rhapsody, and I'm here with another of my 12 Days of Tipsy recipes. If you're finding this and you haven't been a part of the whole 12 Days of Tipsy, this is going to be an adult apple cider. Maybe you like yours by the campfire in the summer, and that's great if that's when you're finding this. If not, I hope you drop us on one of your pin boards or uh, put us in a recipe book for your next holiday season. But I'm going to be making an apple cider that is quite tasty, and it is for your adult beverage intake. If you make it for the kids, it still tastes amazing. Just leave the alcohol out. So, what I did is I took two cups of just apple juice, any type of apple juice you want to use, and um, put that in my pan and brought that to a boil. I added a tablespoon of Red Hots. You could adjust that, but it got really, really sweet quick on me, so I just did a tablespoon of Red Hots. It doesn't have to be any particular brand, just Red Hots and I used a half a stick of cinnamon. So, yeah, that just dripped everywhere. I just broke a cinnamon stick in half and threw that in there, and I let it boil for about 15 minutes just so my flavors would marry really well. If you wanna put it on the stove, it makes the house smell delicious. You could just put it on the stove and let it cook for two or three hours before you're gonna have company over. I went ahead and put them in these cups so I have done my mixing a little bit ahead of time. You don't have to see me pour and make a mess and have a, a big O. I just mixed it in my pan actually and then I poured it up in my cups. So what we wanna go with here is I have Rocktown Apple Pie. Rocktown's a local Little Rock beverage uh, distillery. And I went with one ounce of Rocktown Apple Pie. Then I dropped in an ounce of Fireball. Everybody knows Fireball, I'm sure, and you can adjust that on a sliding scale of how much you want. And I used a, just to make sure I don't get it wrong for y'all, I used a tablespoon of Grand Gulp. So that's about a half an ounce, depending on if you've got spoons or uh, shot glasses with your ounces on measuring glasses. So, it's a half ounce, an ounce and an ounce, and two cups of apple juice. A tablespoon of Red Hots, and I did a half a stick of cinnamon. You can do a whole stick, but um, it kind of leaves it not being such a candy flavor when you do that and cut back on the Red Hots. That's all about a taste bud adjustment. I did like the Grand Gala because it gives it a little bit of an acidic, so it's not so cough syrup, sticky sweet from just the cinnamon, because that's not one of my things. But this is what it will look like, and if you wanted to serve it with one of the cinnamon sticks floating in it, that would be fine too. It's really quite delicious. I hope you enjoy it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you try it. What do you do to adjust yours? We tried three or four different types of alcohol. This is just what we landed on that we like the best. If you like a Jolly Rancher flavor to it, you can. We did try the Jim Bean Apple Bourbon. It has a little bit more of a greeny apple, Jolly Rancher fruity taste instead of the kind of mold cider type to it. So anyway, this is what we've done for day, I don't even know what day this will be on that, but it's gonna be one of the 12 days of tipsies. And we're so glad you came back and joined us. Sub hit subscribe down below. And also you can click the bell and get notified when I give you other recipes. And I hope you have a happy holiday season. And if you find it in July, Christmas in July ain't bad either because Jesus is the reason for the season. And he happens to be a part of my life all day, every day, all year. Cheers, y'all.